I'm Sam Nelson, outside counsel for the Minnesota Catholic Conference, the public policy voice for the Catholic Church in Minnesota. I also advise many churches and religious schools throughout the state regarding legal compliance and religious liberty. I'm testifying on all three of the insurance mandate bills at once, SF2209 regarding gender transition, SF1704 regarding infertility treatment, and SF3967 on abortion, because each one of these bills mandates coverage of procedures that Catholics and many other faith communities in Minnesota do not consider to be authentic health care and therefore should not be mandated. I ask that you vote no on each of these bills. At minimum, I ask that you include a religious exemption already present in Minnesota statutes to protect religious organizations and people of faith from insurance mandates that conflict with their deeply held beliefs. Health care, by its very nature, heals and restores. The coverage mandated in these bills, abortion, gender-affirming care, and assisted reproduction, do neither of these. In fact, two of these procedures destroy human life. The other prevents the proper functioning of the body through pharmaceuticals or through surgery. There are serious scientific medical concerns regarding gender transition procedures. We know that many European countries are restricting such procedures. Health insurance should, as a matter of principle, be limited to health care. Of course, if individual employers want to provide more coverage, they can choose to do so. But the coverage mandates being considered today will raise premiums for all Minnesotans. Taxpayers, employers, and other employees should not be forced into paying for these non-health care procedures. We know that there are differences of opinion on these matters, and that our reasoned case for not mandating this coverage is unlikely to win the day today. Regardless, as fellow Minnesotans, we have a responsibility uh, to make this case for the public to consider. We do ask at minimum, though, that you include religious exemptions to these mandates. We know from U.S. Supreme Court cases such as Hobby Lobby and Little Sisters of the Poor that religious exemptions and insurance mandates are required by law. As such, when the state's contraceptive coverage mandate was adopted last year, it included exemptions and accommodations in compliance with the Hobby Lobby opinion. We would invite similar exemptions in these bills. Uh, this would provide predictability and uniformity on these matters and would help the state to avoid potential litigation, as mentioned in the legal memos from the first and 14th law firm that I submitted to this committee. Thank you for your consideration.